So this is how we can professionally develop Arduino libraries in Visual Studio. So we've got a sketch open here as normal, which just got some simple code in it. And we've got our, our board and hardware debugging options set up. So if we go and clone our library repository, and this one's on GitHub, but of course Azure and other options are available as well. And we're going to want to make sure that the local path is the same path as our Arduino libraries folder. So that's your sketchbook folder and libraries. And that will be the same in the Arduino IDE as it is in Visual Studio. So this means the library download you can use in both as it's compatible with both. So there we go. Set that path and begin the clone. Now it will briefly close our existing Arduino solution while it performs this action. And there's more detail on using Git repositories in Visual Studio in a video that's appearing in the corner now. So as you can see, we've got the code and it's available. So if we just close this down and go back to our previous solution, with our test project in. We can now include the library, but as we haven't actually closed Visual Studio and we've changed the libraries folder, we'll just need to quickly go and rescan the tool chains, which can be done from the general option. There we go. So now we can go and set our library options. So we'll want to ensure the create shared project when including libraries is set as this improves the IntelliSense and also allows the serial debugger to work if you're using that. So now we can just go user installed and select the library as normal. And there's a video about the other options on this menu, which should be appearing now. So there we go. And there's some further notes about shared projects in the output window. So we're going to want to actually use the code from this library. Um, which in this case is just a very simple hello world string being returned from a function. But as we can see, the IntelliSense is working as we've gone along. And if we press F12, we can jump through to that code. Now, the advantage here is we can actually go and edit this as if we had the library project still open and save it. And we can add a breakpoint as we're going to be able to debug this as well. We can build and upload that to our board as normal. So once that's done, we can attach the debugger and debug the changes we've made to our library. It's obviously very minor here. And as you can see, the debugger and all the standard step and continue actions are available for the library code as well as for your sketch code. So from this one view, we can manage our library code and our sketch code, as well as use the debugger and edit the original source of both. So once the debugger stopped, we can also go and check in our, our library changes from here. So as you can see in the Solution Explorer, we just get that back open. You can see there's the red tick and the green cross to show that there's been changes. And so we can just go to the Git window from the view menu, make a comment and commit all of that straight back to GitHub. So that makes developing libraries a lot quicker and easier and you don't have to keep changing views and screens. You can just do it all from one place. And again, if you do want to pull a copy of a library with a particular version, you can clone them into your project or solution using these options. And there is a video specifically for those options available as well.